gonna be kind of tight quarters in here, so let's see if this works. But I assume you've set up like a multiple story map here by the looks of it. Yeah, yes, that's the plan. We'll see if it works. Um, okay. What was the map we were just on? Where is it? Map. <laughs> this is there are too many maps. How do you keep losing maps. us? I don't know. I don't need half of these maps. There we go. Jeez, because I changed the color. God. Okay. All right. I'm. Oh my God. There's so many of you. <laughs> Why are there so many people? They're regulars. Double regulars. Just be glad you avoided the doctor getting it through. <laughs> well, we're not going to be able to all get in there at the same time. See if this works. What kind, of, what kind of campaign is that where you have four characters, each with ally and a regular? Uh, a D&D &D campaign? I guess so. Like, oh, I mean, old school. I'm always pointing out, like, they say, okay, like, my charisma says I can have the 12 hirelings, and when I got to 7th level fighter, they just started showing up. Before 5, that'd be like 20 characters on the map every time minimum, probably. Well, yeah, the, mean, they're, they're a regular. So it's a first, uh, first or second edition D&D campaign. Level yeah, 10, so, right? Level 10 is yeah. when your followers show up. So they, they are NPCs who care if they live or die. So I'm impressed they came this far. I mean, I've kept yeah, them safe well, this whole time. It's just the fact that now they're in the middle of it and there's nowhere to retreat to. Yeah, I the guess... safest place in this forest is probably with you guys at this point. Right. I will note that uh, all of Connor's group is injured. I would actually recommend exchanging locations where Gar's group goes in front now with Sir Connor and uh, Gar stays back with the injured folk. That makes sense a hundred percent. Mechanically. <laughs> Alright, if Gar doesn't agree to it, that's fine. I'm just giving my recommendations as a doctor noticing these horrible, horrible injuries. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, I don't even want to look at it. Well, but I have to. Yeah, I just don't. I feel like my guys are safest, closest to me. And also, my guys are, mm -hmm. you know, my guys. Also, I think they might have seen what happened to the people that are close to Connor. Right, right. Oh, you know what? The scale on this map is messed up. That's why. Also, uh, I don't know if I'm on the map that you guys are on. I am not. You are not. Oh, there you go. I think it's a matter of uh, loyalty when it comes to... Like I said last session, I care about my dudes. I don't want to... I want them in a position where... I feel like, even if it's not true, I feel like I can keep them safe. Right, right. Well, still, we have a large group clattering in through this... Uh, through this hole. And oh shoot! We'll get the description off of Brad uh, once we. Let me well, switch and, to and player also, view. Let me rejoin like, his player real quick. Okay. I'm not in charge of the entourage, so I'm not doing. Uh, uh, I mean, you guys. I, I, there, there's this thing where you can't split up a party. Splitting up a party is the worst possible thing you could ever do. Tantamount to suicide. Um, I don't believe in that. And so, you know, we could be breaking up our entourage by saying, okay, some of you stay here and the rest of us go inside. So that way, if anyone escapes the tower, there's any developments, you guys will be able to act on it. That's what I would be I'm doing. I'm nodding. I'm nodding. But that's not your XP investment. So I'm nodding at the agreement, but I'm just not agreeing with you. Right. Right. I, I mean, suppose it is Sir Connor's choice if he wants his right. injured men to I mean, press forward with this attack. Yeah, that that's what I would do. But, you know, I'm not in charge. Nope. We can have them wait out in the... Uh near the exit that we found and uh, if anybody runs out we can take care of them then yeah so I guess just like move them into like the corner of the board here I mean yeah. also I also want to throw out there again same as Rafferty I'm not in charge of your guys they are still better than my guys when it comes to a fight uh, but in which case I will go ahead and be side by side with Sir Connor the guy in plate. Okay. Oh, you're not in plate mail anymore, are you? I'm not in plate <laughs> mail anymore. My ever since three corners, my mind is like, you're a blur. You're all just blurs. I don't know who lost what, what game, what. I have nothing. I'm poor again. You didn't make that armor of chat books like I recommended. 
No, they keep falling off each other. I don't have enough glue. I watched. I ran out of, ran out of wheat paste. They stole that too. I watched them drop a great sword from like I can't remember how tall the tower was into stacks of paper, and it got through maybe like two of the bundles of paper. <laughs> that wasn't like that was like a fifth, if not a tenth, of the amount of paper that he had stacked there. So paper armor, just saying. A YouTuber named Skellagra made "quote unquote" mail armor out of envelopes. Ha! Uh, just saying, you pack armor. it thick enough, and it uh, can't. Uh, it can uh. take at least a bludgeoning hit for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, it just be very heavy. I think is the. I guess armor is typically heavy anyway. But at the very least, I guess you could put that uh, John Wayne thing. You know, where he puts the steel plate over his chest so when he gets into a gunfight. In right. that one movie, yep. you do that for like just your chest for with a bunch of your chat books. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah. <clears throat> you guys uh, have to kind of go single file as you wind your way through this. Um, it almost looks like a natural earthen tunnel, but it does lead out into a stony uh, basement that. Based on your sense of direction, you assume to be the basement of the tower. It's circular in shape, and as soon as you step into the cold uh, chamber, the stench of death assaults you, and you realize that you're basically standing in an open uh, crypt. The floor is scattered with dead bodies in various states of decay, and the general smell of the place is overwhelming. Um... Let me turn off the grid here. Um, yeah, as you enter... As you enter also and scan the room, you see that um, there is a stairway that leads up to the next story, which you can see on this side. And at the top of the stairway, peeking over the edge, there is a male... Uh, he is a... Mm, a shrew... Um, wearing the dark robes of a necromancer, and he squeaks at your entrance, um, and he's shouting, I guess this might be the second floor, but... Uh, he shouts a word of warning up the stairs behind him. Let me move this to token layer, and then myself to the token layer. So he's on the stairs, shouts a word of warning, and then closes his eyes in concentration and is readying a spell. What was that spell that killed all of Connor's, uh, or killed one of... No, that was, Griffin's. yeah. Which, what was that spell? Mass Agony, which is a yeah. master level, I believe, master level necromancer spell. Which was resisted by... Mass Agony... Oh, uh, he has to look it up. He didn't have it prepped. Cool. Is Journeyman, yeah. Um, oh. Doesn't list it here. Mass Agony is resisted with... the hell it just says it's will leadership in 3d6 versus 3 explosion near there we go resist with mind supernatural versus three. Right. So uh, that, means they, right. that, that means the boss roll and counts as successes then yeah. we roll and we count our fours or better and we have to roll more fours or better uh red i might suggest uh since it's going to be an area thing that'll affect number of people making sure we're all actually properly arranged in whatever order we're entering in yeah because i think sir well, connor you said that you wanted your injured ones not there i'm supposed to be with you we're all we're all disorganized and anushka you're kind of phased into the wall so yeah you guys should arrange yourselves on this map i'm gonna say sicurio probably doesn't want to go in there in fact i'm gonna say a lot of people probably don't want to go in there that's Colette... fair. you can just like move them off to the corner yeah. and they will go on that. that's because they are good combatants. I mean, we wouldn't all emerge at once is my issue here. Yeah. Um. Sorry, I don't have control of my guys since I'm in player mode right now. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's a me... funny little thing. I guess took advantage oh for a long okay. time. Oddly, uh, I'm in charge shoot. of Taylor, though. I can move her around as much as I want. Yeah. By my okay. guys, I mean my uh, entourage. I know. I'm, I'm setting them, but I gotta do what one or pain but doing it there's no better way I should, I should just probably move my men off the map yeah that might be the way to do it 
Also, um, pointedly, the stairway you guys have pointed out one at a time scenario. So, kind of leading the way, if you would, is basically going to handle the order of operations anyway. The only way it's going to matter who's behind Connor is if Connor dies. <laughs> and otherwise, you can't I'll control I... Winter, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Edris and Winter were fine. It's uh, everyone else. Okay, try them now so they should be movable. Yeah, if I can get rid of their focuses, that means I have control of them. Okay. So we look good. All right. I'm going to move the group, the Vanguard, back a little bit, uh, as you just moved everybody up a little bit. <laughs> sorry, This sorry, is the I entrance. Assume, yeah, I was moving my, out of the way of the entrance for everyone that wanted to be back at the entrance. Yeah, this gotcha. is uh, how far up is Connor, how far up is the second group. Yeah, I'm, we're, you know, we're... we're massaging it well if we're leaving people um, outside yeah. why doesn't taylor stay outside uh yeah she could she wants to be there but she's a little kid so you can boss her around if you guys don't want her to be there well yeah. I, would right. suggest... I guess you could stay out there with colette she, right. colette could actually keep her safe from supernatural I'm actually, I'm danger make her a blanket call colette and the injured people stay and guard the kid mm -hmm. I mean, that's what i suggest i agree See. Okay, collect those I was going to say it wouldn't be that much more of a deal for me to guard the kid and everything. I just don't see any reason for the kid to be here. That's why I said stay outside. Don't come in. Yeah, but she's already yeah. outside now. I'm just continuing my thought while we're filling. And Anishka, where in these groups are you? All right. Uh, usually I'm with the doctor. All but, right. and... uh, I would definitely, since I'm a necromancer expert, uh, more so than the Doctor, I would enter with the first wave. I mean, like, how are we entering this again? I thought we were coming through a hole in the floor. Um, yeah. Okay. There was a a winding path underground that led to an, a basement entrance. Probably right. not as wide or grand as it is here on the map, but... I mean, my, own, my only issue here was, so we appeared here, we walked mm -hmm. lightly until we got here, and then this person teleported in and appeared on the stairwell. Right? Doesn't make a lot of sense, but again, this is the limitations of the map. What I'll do is I'll move everybody kind of back towards the door. Well, the narrative mm -hmm. you already said was that he was actually up here, poked his head yes. down, shouted a warning, and then rushed forward to here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you don't want... You're breaking up, Raph. I think your wire is going bad. Because you're back on the other input now, too. Uh oh Potter's bailing as well. Yeah, for all the injured people. Plus, Potter has more experience, so he's going to be a good leader in lieu of not having Connor there. Winter is too important uh, to not be here. I mean, I'm sure everyone has shields or cover or something like that, but I don't. Hmm. Okay, am I back? Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I adjusted some things here. I think it takes some wires. Okay, I mean, if this is how we're going to do it, let's do it. Let's go. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time, so let's see what we can do. Okay. So, um, you guys enter. You catch sight of this dude who shouts a warning and then begins readying a spell. Uh, into his staff, his rod, and um, then, as I mentioned before, there are piles of bodies on the floor, and they begin to move of their own volition, and zombies begin to rise. Let's do this. It's literally just this. about to ask you skeletons or zombies. <laughs> Two layer token, boom. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of dead bodies down here. Some of them are beginning to uh move on their own accord um and get up and this is where we find ourselves at the beginning of combat i see someone rolled initiative just gonna roll initiative i'll go ahead and roll it now too i always wrote yes you wrote okay i got the danger and... sense i gotta roll yeah just that I'm, here. That. I'm past old Harmon. always going for focus it's now i got a bunch of guys Hey, I get focus. I'm super ready. 
Okay. Stat block up. Yep, and player mode can no longer put statuses on people. Other than myself. Okay. Which I think would we'll close here. No, we were actually in the doorway. Yeah, you okay. got to fit. That works. So my necromancer buddy is probably going to fire a uh, shot off uh, at the first person in the room. Which looks like it's going to be Anushka. Anushka has focus, though. You can interrupt if you'd like to, Anushka. Yeah, I'm going to interrupt. Screw this. Okay. Okay. Uh, I passed the initiative so I can have my gun out. So I'm going to go ahead and use my gun. I'm going to go ahead and shoot at you. You get an extra D8 to the range. Okay. First, does the gun go off? It does. Rapid aim. Okay. Rapid aim. Jeez. Right. Well, that's a shitty roll. Wow. Hit. Oh, but mine was shitty. Wow, this so. is terrible defense. Uh, but wait, I get. You said I got a D8 due to range right range, yeah there we go <laughs> hey, uh, a little too far away uh, i'm going to tap my luck actually oh no, wait first uh, i'll use my personality yeah i'm gonna tap my luck we roll that five okay two more times yep it's like the oh, three three okay um so it is a mere one. four point hit it was almost a six point hit and we, we could be done i know a mere four point hit uh Let's see what Yeah, it you're juicy, so you can take slaying all day long. Yep. Okay, that's soaked too. So really hurt and afraid. You'll just a run back and there. Again. Yes, definitely. Uh reeling. Oh, I, I also interrupted whatever it was the hell you were gonna do. So it's like Yeah. Oh yep. huh, it's full of bodies. <gasps> <Necromancer>. <laughs> <laughs> well that's good. So yeah, I think we're going to recover and run. Ah, They've got guns! Run to the next floor. Doop doo. Ah, uh, the age of swords and magic is over. Who brings a gun? <laughs> Who brings a gun to a wizard fight? Um, insert back to reference here. Okay, that was my interrupt. Uh, what right, are the un I guess the undead stand up and uh, do they guard or do they start coming towards us? Um, They're going to guard. All right. Uh, what am I doing? I'm doing the wrong thing. So yeah, they're guarding. Doop. Guard. Nope. Try it again. Okay, so it's your actions now. Guard. I'm going to recharge rapid aim and guard. That's a good choice. The gun wizard. <clears throat> okay. All right. Connor will uh, rally the doctor to get him focused. If we can. I already have focus. I succeeded on initiative. Oh, okay, then never mind. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> We're all focused. We're all really good at this. Guard. Da uh, dash to uh, actually, well, you can stride when you dash, right? Yeah, so uh, he'll go there and uh, smash. Smash. There you go. Let me smash. Okay, he's guarding, he's countering. Uh, D60, D12. Nine, but your 10 beats it. And he's so injured. Four so damage. Three damage, four damage. Oh, three damage, okay, yeah, right. Yeah, but four damage happened. is enough to take him down. Blech. Did he soak? Oh, you're right, he could soak. He did soak, okay. So, hurt, injured, and the rest of these guys are just hurt, hurt. All right, so he's still standing, but he's, you took a chunk out of him. All right, that's my turn done. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and take an aim 
load up my spell, and then fire my spell at this guy, and then see if it, uh... That's a wall right there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it is? Well, I'll have to go ahead and... Move up. Dash up a little bit. Here we go. So I'll just move up to here so I can see him. And then I will load spell and then fire at him. So, let's do it. 3d12. Okay. With 12 in there. Oh my goodness. Well, the best that he can dodge is not enough. It's just a d4. So, yeah. Um, I guess we'll roll it anyway. I was well, no, the best he could do is... Know there was that guy on top of the map. Yeah. So, uh... Worst he could do is roll a one, so you got two hits on him automatically, basically. So uh, what is yep, he... so that is six points weak. Six points weak. He's vulnerable to holy magic, though, right? Uh, what does that do? That's, that's a that's uh, yeah, you. Lesser, lesser undead are vulnerable. That means your that means your successes count double. They turns into slang. Yeah, there's no way that he's surviving yeah. this, so he's quite overkilled. Eight, Blech. nine, yeah, no. All right, <laughs> hey, let's sweep short. Next guy. Uh, yeah, it's like you brought the correct spell for this. I guess Which one? The guy to, to the north? They are guard. Yeah, the one to the north. Yeah, the, true. They, they are guarding, guarding, so they could they could technically. He gets a d8 for range and a d8 uh, for guarding. Okay, but d that's a lot. D8, d12. He does not. He gets the ten, which is wow. a great showing. But it's still a six point hit. I think it still obliterates you. Seven point even. Yeah. Then yeah, then he can't soak it down to nothing. So also dead black. Holy lightning. Holy arc lightning. Yeah. I like it. Are and, you... And, uh, are you going to sweep to to Connor's target? Um, yeah, I will. Okay, don't screw up like last time. Let's not screw up again. Alright, this guy uh, gets a D8 mm -hmm. for uh, range and a D8 for guarding and ah. a D4 cover. There we go, so that is just a failure. That's just the miss. Okay. I'm sorry. So I'm rolling these guys with where I hit Connor again. No, that it is a tie. tie. Could he be right shouldn't... over 12. That's an 8 versus your 8. That's a tie. He wow, again. He yeah. retreats. Yep. <laughs> I oh. put the little Honor, you must dodge that same 8. See you later, you shit. You right. <laughs> You do. Okay. There you go. It's one of my favorite rules in Iron Claw. Shooting you a melee. <laughs> Just to block the lightning off your shield. It's well, perfect. It, it's perfectly fine. I mean, that's when they both talk, and I think Connor just has to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great for the morale of the troops behind us, too. It's like, wow, he just shoots. I mean, <laughs> this is literally I not just, the first time we've seen it, though. Um, I literally swept off more than 180 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, oh, sorry. You ever, you ever see what happens when someone tries to keep control of a fire? <laughs> Yeah. All right, yeah, they hold on. on to it. Actually, this isn't even the third time Gar has seen this happen. And bonus refresh. Done. All right. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm kind of setting up the next floor in. No, I, I hear you. I think. But yes, okay. who's next? Uh, I, I think you should have your troops secure the floor. I think the hero should go up to the next one. Uh, that means that I'm not coming then because I'm not a hero without my troops. Um, did you want to go face an Anyways, necromancer? Anyways, before we start talking about shit, there's still an enemy in the room, and I have guys that need to act. Oh yeah, you should you should probably engage in melee unless you shoot Connor by mistake. Well, we're gonna shoot first, ask questions later. Because we only we strode forwards. I'm gonna deal with the archers first. Do it. Bring it. Even if my guys miss, they're not hitting you with divine damage of lightning. So uh, short bow from uh, Tierra first. Okay. And not uh D D eight range. When they said fight someone your own size, they were talking about me. <laughs> hey, there you go, that works. That uh, works, that's two hits. Uh you only have I'm missing something here. No, no, I'm sorry. I was looking at the dice. I thought we could get one more dice to roll. Uh, one more for guarding, right? That's yeah. the other D8. Okay. Oh, it doesn't help. I want to be fair. Uh, unfortunately, this is the short bow, which is plus zero, so it's four damage. That's okay. still pretty good. Can he do it? Can he soak? He does. Still alive. All right, and then... Got an arrow sticking out of him. Ruthard. Okay. Um, oh, D... 
four plus two D. Yeah, I got nothing else to add to this. Ooh, but the seven will beat the five. Ah, uh, it's another four point hit. Another His is the plus hits. one, he's the longbow. Oh, botched. Which means it's he five. Took, him, took off his head. Bleh. There we go. Good job. Uh, okay. And now to the previous argument. I think we have a bunch of guys outside who are guarding the front, so this bottom floor, unless they have a way to teleport floors, I think is as secure as it's going to be. I guess Great. so. I'll say there's still a bunch of dead bodies down here, and you think you see some of them twitching. Possible that they will are in the process of being animated. All right, well, then the counter to that is that our only way to progress up the stairs is one at a time anyway, so so long as Connor is leading the way there, my guys will guard the back so we're not murdered by zombies behind okay. us. Yep. So, like uh, on to red, are we going to go ahead and do this step by step, or are we going uh, to rush up the stairways? I think let's rush up the stairways. I'm going to reveal the next floor now. Find All the right. tool that does that. Oh, I'll miss the Higgin dance fight. So, uh, am I the lead or is Connor the lead? I'll be the lead. Okay, All the right. next part is in the top right. The stairway that goes into the next floor, is it just a, like a doorway or? Uh, um, usually in these towers, the, these stairs would go up through a hole, and this right here is the landing on the second floor. Okay. Right, and oh, we're right. going to say that this is that floor, it's kind of, yeah. We did skip a floor, doesn't make a lot of sense. But well, this, is, it, this so. is the first floor. You said this was the second floor. What I mean is, it, in is the way the map is map. laid well, out, there's two stories to the tower and uh, the in the game. So, oh well, then if it makes you feel any better, most towers you would go up, but you go from the first floor to the third floor and then down to the second floor. That's why this stairwell, this stairwell here, like this one here, this is the one we should be going up. Yeah. Okay. The way I laid it out, though, I want to use this as the entrance. Okay. I can, okay. re well, I can we'll mirror this room, but I'd rather not. Yeah, so. that, that's part of the confusion is you usually go from the first floor to the third floor and then down to the second floor. It keeps the people on the second floor a little bit safer. See, I was only asking in case there was a way that Tanushka could fly up while Connor's climbing the stairs. And the answer is no, because this is incredibly cramped. Right. Mm. Um, you could slam into a wall. I'm not gonna be moving any of my guys right. to the next floor for a while, anyway. So don't worry about I'll me. I'll take a, I'll take a step back so Anushka has some room right there. Well, I, I'm behind Connor, yeah. And it's one of the things I love about Dark Souls because um, uh, Dark Souls One has some awesome architecture in it. But we'll worry about oh, that later. Nice. Wow, it's a room. Yep, it's like I said, it's a room full of evil. Very evil. Okay. It is a room full of evil. So let me describe what exactly is. Um, in the center of the room, in the chair, slumped down, there is this weasel, um, and there's gro there's tendrils of dark energy coming from the scarecrows around the edge of this circle, which again is going to have it's a it's a nonogram, so there's seven points to it, um, and they seem to be uh, entering the body of this weasel that is looks to be quite dead, but is twitching unnaturally and convulsing and spasming. But you can tell by the way the eyes are milky and white that it is a it is a corpse for all intents and purposes. At the north of the room, we have a uh, what is obviously a raven dressed in robes of a necromancer. On its tail, the raven is wearing what appears to be the tail of a gray fox that's sort of been like turned into essentially like a, a rabbit's foot charm. But it's wearing this tail uh, off its belt. And it seems to be the one who is instructing the ritual that is progressing in the center of the room. There's two other necromancers, the purple guys. The one that's in front of you is the one you just saw on the stairs, very da Dana, who um, has Hurry run up. up and seems to be prepared for you guys. That's why she has focus. Um, and then in the corners of the rooms, there are three more of the zombies. Zombies seem to all be well built. Uh, Boars. Um, they just look a little bit beefier than your garden variety zombies. Uh, you guys are initiating the fight on this floor, which means you'll get the first action. <clears throat> All right. I'd like to guard and run up to there if I can. Up to where? To the orange token. To that guy. Okay. Um, very, very. Dana, uh, that's a terrible name. Verdiana. I want to. Verdiana. Verdiana will. 
and hit you full in the face with a torment. Okay. So, so torment. torment yes, torment is resisted with. Uh, no, it's not resisted. Oh no, it's versus the target's mind and supernatural. Right. So Connor, roll your mind and supernatural. Rolling two d eight and two d six. I know we already said this. This is actually the third floor. It, just say uh, it's the second. We're done. I'm asking. Okay. I don't know. I'm sorry. Right. It's We're going to say it's the, it's the second floor. I just didn't think they were having this big ritual on the middle of the tower. They are. They're having it on the second floor of the tower. Is, uh, I'm I assuming know. this is versus threes. No, yeah. this is uh, this is a resistance. This is four versus four. Um, that's a tie. Uh, in order to break a tie, you would have to stop. You would have to retreat. You'd have to break off the assault. No, I'm going to throw my personality on this. Or just throw your personality anyway. Okay. What is your personality? Oh, brazen. Ah! Nice. Yeah, you just burst through the wall of black tendrils that are assaulting you. Yep. All right, move up to her. Nice. Okay, so is this the way off, or is this the way? Because Connor would have been in front of this formation, whichever yeah. way it was. Yeah, you're in front, yeah. You're right. You're in front. There we go. Yeah, when I was measuring a second ago, I didn't realize... Hey, there's this blockage wall thing here. Yeah. Mm. And this is obviously a ramp. Okay. Uh, Connor's guarded, so if you want to give him the halo, or I can just keep the dot on him. No. I, I, the dots are so much easier. For you. Those the nice thing about the halo is all those that macros you do... that we gave everybody. Um. Well, you, okay. I don't have the the halo macros i have the dot macros so yeah have to give, me, give them to me later i don't have any macros at all i mean i only spend hours and hours on this um so I, you guys are just straight rushing in yeah i'm moving in and guarding all right uh the doctor will go ahead and get to the top of the stairwell uh in fact i'll just go ahead and ruin your day up here and i'll go prepare a spell in your face ha huh, what do you think of that in your face. <laughs> the slow walk up the sick well. Kind of Your evil guys. ends today. Okay. All right. In that case, um, yeah, move your dudes up. Uh, and on my turn, I think my necromancers are going to retreat with guard and runs. So we're going to give these guys guard. I don't know why this macro never wants to work the first time uh, that is a little bit of a pain but that's the they're guarding and running up. they've got 18 which can put them up the stairs so i think this guy can also yeah 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 so they're gonna both guard run up here they're both reeling um because i don't want you guys killing my spellcasters right away you've got bigger fish to fry i think i could probably solve it it's probably telling it to turn it off first which is why it doesn't work on the first click Ah, uh, maybe. Okay. Yeah, so I'll just probably have to invert it after the session. Okay. And my zombies, because they are boars, they're inheriting their boorish trait of a charging strike, which means that even though they're normally slow as shit, they can ram with their tusks. So. And as I said, these guys are tough as well. So let's see. We're doing... I'm going to roll d uh sixes for their charge wow first one sucks second one got a three so we'll do one and that's two does it oh god it just quite well, and then this would guy gore, gets four it? what was a boar with gore wouldn't it gore yes a ram rams ram rams boars gore gotcha this guy fell short so he's just gonna guard um this guy did close within distance of Anushka. So Anushka, he's trying to gore you. Um and we're I would I would choose not to be gored, thank you. Okay. Well then. Uh gore I assume is an impaling strike, but um we're doing D eight D ten at you. Nice. Six and seven. Eleven. Ooh. And what were you doing? I'm stabbing. Uh, are you juicy? I mean, he's he's a zombie. 
He's a zombie? Uh, then I'm hacking at you with the martial sword. Uh, gotcha. Martial for undead, uh, aluminum for uh, alum for the living. Uh, that is a whopping four point hit. All right, and you're undead, so it's uh, five because he's hurt. Oh, no, no, you're undead. It is four. Sorry, it's it's only plus two. So plus two, plus one, plus one. So as a four point hit, as you attempt to gore me, when did you become okay. the Witcher? All right. Oh wow, and he fails his soak. So I think you actually just take him down in the first strike. <laughs> oh, I'm coming door again. Nice. Uh, this guy is just going to dash. Uh, that's four or five. Actually, I guess he'll dash towards Connor. Actually, no, let's do this smart. We're going to move our all of our dudes up onto the stairs. This guy will move up to his there. This guy will dash to intercept. We'll just put him here. And guard, being puppet mastered, guard, guard. And this dude is going to ready a terrible, terrible spell. Okay. Um, I think that takes care of my side. It's back to you guys. Down on the... Well, actually, on the bottom floor, we've got zombies down here, too, that are coming out. Oh, yeah. boy. Come back here to let me kill you. But basically, they're just spawning, essentially. Um, so what you guys the... can take your turn as well. What was the special thing about this guy? About which guy? Oh, he is the... He's the leader. He's wearing a gray fox tail he's a raven oh my god you guys are jerks oh well hold on if i have to keep track of these guys on the bottom if we would have moved as well yeah you can move now uh, let me get uh, a uh, rally see. here for sir connor once yeah our turn comes up. so let me go ahead and throw this at you sir connor uh hey do you enjoy having three levels of focus <laughs> But of course. Well, enjoy your focus. Uh, you definitely have it. I wish that was my attack roll. <laughs> uh, and mm. I'm going to go ahead and cast a spell. I could clear this guy out, or I could shoot the big guy here and then sweep to somebody else. So I'm going to shoot the big guy over there. Okay. Like it. So See what the uh, big guy's he can doing. dodge. If he has a spell that can reach me and he has his rod, I think he can counter. If oh. I recall right. Counters magic? The question is, is he using a rod or a wand, or is he freehanding it? These guys have rods. If, they if wouldn't carry wands because they're indoors. If it's a necromancy spell and it lists counters magic as a special effect, that means you can counter magic at any range. Oh, crap. That's pretty cool. I oh, can welcome, counter welcome you. Welcome to necromancy. We're <gasps> I've never countered magic with magic before. I'm yeah, amazing. It. And you get the guarding die, too. Yeah, and he's a he's a motherfucker. He's got a lot of his torments are no, not my mother. Juicy, <laughs> not my mother. Yeah. Um, yep. Welcome to Necromancy. Yeah. When any spell right. is loaded, the spell now threatens in near. Not only does the spell threaten, it can also be used to counterattack. Uh, uh, I think it, I'm outside of near though. No, no, hold on. You, you're if you have yes, if you have a rod, you can counter anything up to near. But Necromancy has the special effect counters magic at any range. Yeah, really? I was just going back over the general case. If it so says counter, answer. if it says counter, I mean, okay, I, I worded this specifically. If the spell itself says counters magic, and in the spell's description, it counters magic at any range. Yep, yep. Now, you, now I have to look up what spell you have held in your hand. I was looking to see what I could do. <laughs> right. So, okay. Red. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm putting together my dice pool because it's juicy. All right. Uh, I'll I'll go ahead and give my roll right now. All correctly, almost all the necromancer spells specifically counter magic. All right, so we're looking at a high of a nine versus the big boss. Me and him locking beams. Come on, man! Come on, man! There's the ten, and oh did not get gosh. three sixes, although it was close. <laughs> it was a near thing. Oh, well, didn't uh, the doctor also get a six? Uh, does that aim? Oh, does that uh, is it on all dice or individual rolls? Uh, it, it, and, and, and well, let's play out the attack, and then you can decide if something weird happens. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so the first step is I don't have an act reroll. I don't have my personality because I used all those earlier. Don't, well, don't die. So this stands. He has one success. What is he doing? What spell was okay. this? Okay. 
It was torment, which means torment is penetrating. Zero torment. Yeah, is it damage plus it one? Damage? It's just yep. critical. Oh, and it's weak. So it's okay. just one. So it's one damage, um, one damage, but penetrating, and you soak twice. Right. Well, one damage, plus two one damage. success, two points. Ignores your armor. Sorry, armadillo. Uh, oh, right. My natural armor counts as armor, doesn't it? Huh. It, it totally ignores that. All right, well, I got my body and I got my will. So let's go right. and roll that so roll once that. and twice. So that is one so. You're, you're reeling in her. Uh, there was also three sixes involved with this roll, so something inconvenient and necromantic can happen. Like, I don't know, maybe there could just be a commotion downstairs that we don't know about. Well, there which are would be your, Which would be I have... excuse to not let all, uh, you know, the, to give the other guys downstairs something to deal with. No, there already is. All right. There's, you, there's you can stuff look down over there at the first floor. Yeah, that's what yeah. I thought. Well, but, I can't think of anything up here that would actually be. Well, uh, I have something in mind. It uh -oh. says that it shouldn't be something that necessarily helps one side or the other, but it's just generally bad for everyone. So bad. what I'm going to say is that one of the strange uh, effigies around the circle explodes in a cloud of black necromantic mites that fill uh, the space. I I and it uh, creates darkness within the space kind of like the ash concealment because i liked that i'm just going to use those rules so more ash. Oh, yeah something explodes so more ash it don't doesn't these... blind you but it's going to give concealment don't these things only last for like one minute maybe last sure. you remember the uh the, these are the mites that we encountered on the uh, abattoir side right oh i don't mean that these are like ticks yeah don't worry about that oh, yeah, it's okay. just like Something... black ash but it seems to be like living ash one of the ideas of... explodes filling the place with ashes i would say if it was those we were fine as long as we don't die in a minute okay. mm. all one? right which one of the effigies you mean yeah because i assume there's like five of them and that's what these ones are. there should be seven but i'll you know what i'll do here let's put a circle i'm on the right right uh, there we go and and who, Matt, who was that so... was that crown guy that was Crown Guy who did it. Six. All right, well, so uh, he's no longer loaded, at least. But I have taken the hit. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Um, well, actually, uh, this is just an undead, right? Yes, uh, he's a tough guy, but yes, he's an undead boar. Uh -huh. um, Connor, you don't really need the tactics die, do you? No. All right, then I'm gonna fly to here. Aha. And you don't have a spell anymore, so I'm not really that afraid of you. So somebody turn off my guarding for me, please. Yeah. I'm going to tap rapid aim and run you through. Ooh, okay. Are you alive? He is alive, yes. Okay. Good to know. He's going to parry with his rod. You can parry with the rod, which gives you a bonus d12. Yep, so we're doing 2d10 and a d12. Hip. <laughs> Oh, look at me. With oh! Six, six, yeah. 12. <laughs> Want me to re-roll that or rod. anything? Did you parry <laughs> me with a brass rod? What? Did you parry me with a brass rod because you're a yes, necromantic? Yes, because I'm a necromantic. <laughs> I'm in necromantic battle. Okay, I'm done. Tang. Yep, okay. Have you uh, ever refreshed luck in a while? Just wondering. I used it. You Did used you? it, yeah. Okay. I used it when I shot her because I said I'm not going to get a better shot than this. Yeah, it. All right. Well, uh, let's see here. Let's if it's my turn yet. Can be. Yeah. All right. Uh, looks like I just need the dash to get to him. Then aim and attack. All right, and he will counter uh, with his uh, d8, d10. D12 because he's got a uh, he's got wrath. 